Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. <laughs> All right, starting again with the burp. I don't know if I'm going to put that in, but it's there. Uh, it's We're back to Tim Friend, uh, picking up back in Lynn's story of Fire Emblem 7. Uh, what kind of man was General Eagler? Well, he was alive uh, last episode, but now he is dead. And then it turns out he was, he was sort of the mentor to Kent and Sane. And that's, that's, a, that's a bummer. I had, I had Kent kill his teacher. Oh, it's some Wheel of Time shit. And oh, he's got red hair. He's just like Gawain. He killed Hamar. Ooh, that's a Wheel of Time reference. And also a spoiler in a way. So if, uh, if you haven't read Wheel of Time and you're planning on doing it, uh, go ahead and unremember the thing I just said. And uh, if you have read Wheel of Time, uh, how awesome was that parallel that I just made? And if you're not planning on reading Wheel of Time, then uh, you're probably making a good choice. Because uh, while I love that series, uh, I love to say that they are not for everyone. And in fact, they're probably not for most people. <sighs> and here we get some more uh, behind the scenes, uh, omniscient narrator stuff. Even though it's not narrator, it's just sort of omniscient cameraman. Uh, with Lundgren just sort of coming into Marcus Kalen's room and being an asshole. Hurry up and die, you miserable old dotard. What is that? What does dotard mean? It sounds like an ableist slur, and I hope it's not, because I just said that. But if it is, uh, that sucks. That really makes Lundgren an incredible villain. Uh, and if, it, if it's not uh, an ableist slur, then what the fuck is it? I, what, what does that mean? That's really what I'm asking. What does dotard mean? It feels bad to say, I don't like it. General Eagler has been defeated, and in her band draw ever nearer to Castle Kaelin. Then the castle walls, Lynn's bitter enemy Lundgren awaits, a man who would kill his own kin for a throne. He is the source of all her troubles. He must be stopped. Hooray! Look at that big ol' armor man. Did you see him? In the previous screen? He was waving a spear around. He just bought a bunch of armor and piled it on top of himself. Lady Lindis, you'll be able to see Castle Galen once we pass these mountains. Grandfather, I'll be with you, Sudden. Everything rests on this next battle. Lundgren will not be receiving the reinforcements he expected. He will actually be receiving reinforcement, but not the ones he expected, I suppose. He will move against us with everything he has soon. Let him come. Let them all come. I will not be turned away. I'll see my grandfather. I've come too far to let anyone stand in my way, including the people who serve my grandfather. I will kill all of my grandfather's servants in order to see him. And then Lynn turns to me and tells me how much she loves me. I mean, tells me that it's, this is the final mission of her story. And oh, they give us space to bring everyone. We're not gonna, um, gonna <laughs> take out Dorcas. Uh, ugh, might bring Dorcas. Just because, uh, Lundgren is an upgraded, like, this is a knight. Lundgren is an upgraded knight. And hot diggity dong dongs, does he have great defenses? Uh, you know what? No, no, fuck Dorcas. We don't need Dorcas. We have an armor slayer. We don't need that stupid axe man. And Wrath is definitely gonna suck it up. Uh, who else don't we like? Uh, we'll bring Wallace just in case. Uh, he'll be our sort of Hail Mary, our really slow moving Hail Mary. And uh, I will we'll, we'll, we'll throw Will out the door, yeah, but we'll trade his Lance Reaver to someone else. Who are we gonna trade it to? We're gonna trade it to Kent. Kent can't use it. Great. Uh, we're gonna have him give it to Lynn. Lynn can use it. Okay. All right. So, uh, like I said, this is the last mission of Lynn's campaign. Uh, I'll be sad to see her go, as I'm sure you know because uh, I'm sad that uh, Lynn is not the main lord of this game, but she's the main lord of my heart. Uh, let me fucking move the people. There we go. Blam. Oh, I can just move them up. Sweet. Uh, have Nils move up a little bit too, and have fucking Florina move over here, and Lucius move over here, and Sarah will switch with Ark, and then Sarah will move up one. Okay. Uh, so we're going to... This is this is also a mission where they introduce rain, which is a concept that only comes back once, I believe, in uh, Hector's story, and it sucks. It basically just makes everything move slower for a few turns, but like catastrophically slow. I'm gonna take a drink of water. Just hold on. Mm -hmm.
<coughs> killing my throat. I've done a lot of talking over the past few days. Uh, but yeah, the, the rain sucks. It really just slows down the mission because uh, it slows everyone, including you. And I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm not really sure why they put it in. So if they have a good reason, then I'm sure I'd like it more. Uh, we're going to look at our items real quick, and then we're going to take off. Blah, blah, blah. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, blah, blah. Cool. Let's roll. Save. Let's save. The Distant Plains. Uh, it's a reference to where Lynn... It's, it's all coming... A little full circle thing. A little Dane Cook. A little Dane Cook. We'll have Wallace roll up, and then Mills go sing to him. Also, uh, this... Either this or the next episode might be the episode where I have to take a fucking pause break and just have Nils dance a fuck ton. I mean, it'll only be for 20 turns uh, at most, because he just hit level 5. But that's what's going to have to happen at some point, and not looking forward to it. But whatever, I sacrifice everything for the people I love, which is you. I uh, will have Wallace move down here, because I don't want him to steal any experience points. We'll have... Sane, roll up as well. Lucius. Matthew. Thorina obviously doesn't care about terrain. Uh, can I, like, bait people? No, there's archers. I don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk it for that biscuit. Have Lynn roll up, and then have Sarah lead the rear. Lead the rear. That was a little, uh, fun little phrase that came out of my mouth hole. What is this mage going to do? Probably get missed by, uh, Sane. Yep, look at these couple chuckleheads. Ooh, Sane's almost level 8, which is insane for the tutorial because we've been fighting fucking level 1 and 2, guys. These clouds look bad. It's going to rain soon. Let's go, champ. We should press on while still able. Come on, eat that granola bar. We're going on this hike. Uh, so who are we going to... We still need Kent to level up a bunch. Who can we fight? He's level 3, level 3. Ooh, look at these level 3 guys. So we want Kent to kill this archer. And Kent can kill this archer, so go do it, Kent. Stab. God, that's because... Oh, and the crit. That rarely seen Cavalier crit. Delicious. Ooh. And, uh, he's halfway to six, which is good news on the Kent front. Even though uh, I'm going to hate reading all of his supports because I think he's super boring, which is something that I've drilled into the head of the entire audience, but whatever. Uh, seven, seven, you're six. You're six, two. Let's have Matthew try to get that kill. I mean, Jemus. Jemus Crambler. Uh, God, Urk is so strong and Matthew's so weak. It's despairing. Eh. It's probably because of the forest that the mage is standing in. It's giving him a little bonus to defenses. Uh, but odds are that Matthew will miss one of his two next attacks, even though I'm gonna have Nils sing him a little, little song of slaying, a little murder song. I will try to get that kill with Matthew. If it doesn't work, then, you know, no skin off my thing that had skin before. Uh, huh. eh. Dance, dance. Fire comes out. Hits him. Ha! Hey, we got the kill. Will that quite level him? It will. Do, 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 do. Boing. Ding, 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 ding. He got a point of strength. Wow. That was a great level for Matthew. Got some survivability, got more speed, got more strength. Really just, all in all, good stuff, Matthew. This has been the Matthew Appreciation Show, starring Kent, or Sane and Florina at almost level 8 each. That's nuts. That's some friggin' honey bunches of nuts. That's not a real thing, Tim. We're having uh, Sane get this kill. Finally actually just put him over the edge at level 8. Uh... Let's see what he gets. Hopefully he gets some more speed. Uh, God. That's like two levels where Sane has been really disappointing. But, you know, he's got theoretically uh, fucking 32 levels to go. So uh, he's got chances to do better. He should take them. It's his money, and you, he should have it now. Uh, we'll have Florina dance precariously behind that wall. I wish I could get... This is such a slow chapter. Because not only does the rain really slow your units down. Like, you'll see, it, it's just going to be fucking stupid slow for a while. Uh, but then it gives you these huge tracts of forest. Like, up here, a lot of forest under my units that you can't really see. This is a big chunk of forest right in here. And then there's another chunk of forest right in here. 
and the rain makes you move, move so slowly through fourth. Like, even Florina moves three. It can't insane move two. Ugh, so bad. Such a... I think it's such a poor decision to have the rain on this map. And it's, like, timed so that you hit the forest and you just have to go, Oh, God. It, it keeps it from being like a really action-packed map. It keeps it from more being like a, come on, just fucking go. You want them to keep moving because you want to get closer, but at the same time, you're like, gosh, dang, I just want the rain to be over. I would end turn and just spam end turn in a heartbeat if it meant making this freaking mission go by quicker so the rain would be gone. Anyway, I'm going to finish up moving my duders here. Blah, 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 blah. There an archer down there, yes, but the rain means he can't get up here anyway. And then I will see you guys next time. Come on over tomorrow for another episode of Fire Emblem on Tim Friend.